Hi and welcome back. So the YouTube video that's titled Get Protein Right, Avoid Dying 6.4 Years Too Early that was produced by the YouTube channel Dr. Brad Stanfield is 14 minutes and 23 seconds in duration. Let's break it down and let's just look at the key points. And please remember now I'm semi-retired. I get to watch between 20 and 30 longevity type videos most days as well as reading articles, scientific studies and listening to podcasts when I exercise and I only review videos like this one that I think are going to give good longevity value. So although it's a critique of his original content, it is most certainly not a negative criticism. In this video, Brad Stanfield explores the importance of protein intake for muscle strength and also for longevity, comparing plant-based and animal-based proteins and debunking some myths about high-protein diets. First, he covers protein intake guidelines. The baseline recommendation for protein is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight, but this is just the minimum. Optimal protein intake for health and muscle building is 1.5 grams per kilogram of lean body weight daily. Then he moves on to longevity and aging. Lower protein intake is linked, he says, to increased lifespan in animal studies. He says this is due to reduced mTOR activation, which slows cell growth. But evidence in humans is far less clear. But higher protein intake has shown benefits for longevity, particularly when it includes plant-based sources. He then moves on to sources of protein. Brad explains that animal-based protein is high in leucine. This essential amino acid is essential for building muscles. He then shifts his attention to plant-based sources. This typically requires a higher intake of food to meet those leucine needs. He offers some options that includes lentils, chickpeas and protein powders, specifically pea or soy protein. Brad then moves on to more general health benefits. Firstly, that high protein diets support weight loss by improving satiety and boosting our metabolism. Also, muscle maintenance is critical for our health, especially as we age. Protein intake improves the response to exercise and reduces muscle loss when we age. This is known as sarcopenia. High fiber intake from plant-based proteins may reduce the risk of heart disease, diabetes, and also maybe some cancers. Then Brad debunks some protein myths. First, high protein diets do not harm kidney function or increase the risk of osteoporosis in healthy individuals. And if you're getting value from this video or from my channel, please consider supporting my work by buying me a coffee. Now there's a link in the description below. Then Brad talks about the timing of protein intake. He says the total daily intake matters far more than the timing of that protein intake. My take on this, I do agree with it, is I watch a YouTube channel called Shredded Sports Science. He has on numerous occasions debunked the protein window myth. This is usually pushed by protein bar and protein shake manufacturers and gym owners just to make more money. Now, according to James Linker, he's the guy that runs that particular channel. There is a window, but it's more like 24 hours as opposed to the one hour that manufacturers and gym owners like to tout. Did you know that a 70 kilogram individual, that's 154 pounds, over the age of 50 will need to consume somewhere between 70 and 84 grams of protein daily just to maintain their current muscle mass? And to build muscle, which we should all be trying to do as we age, requires somewhere between 84 and 106 grams of protein per day. To defend against sarcopenia, studies have shown that between 84 and 115 grams of protein across three meals maximizes muscle protein synthesis. Let me know in the comments below. Do you know what your daily protein intake is? And is that enough for your weight?